State law enforcement says these threats are not credible. Thank you for joining us for 7 News at 5. I'm Bailey Martin. And I'm Michelle Chavez. Our sister station WCMH spoke with a former Central Ohio FBI agent. He's had experience working on cases with similar threats to schools. He says from what he's heard, the sheer number of schools that received the emails makes these threats not credible. He says if a school district is singled out, it's much more worrisome. But that doesn't mean that a threat like this one shouldn't be taken seriously. If we shut down the school every time a threat was made, the kids would not ever be in school. You just can't stop living your life. You take precautions, you be careful, um, and you try to make the best judgments that you can. Districts and law enforcement take time to assess a threat and determine how to proceed. Most of the schools in the state did end up going ahead with school as normal and just increased security for students and staff to ease anxiety. The former agent says in his experience, open communication with parents and staff is the best way to keep everyone calm in what can be a very scary situation.